You know Chris a long time, you go right back to the clinic. I mean, yeah. before that. Yes. Go on. Before that. Yes. <laughs> did, you, did you know each other before that? No, no, no. no. The, 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 just as I left UCD drama stuff, you arrived. Right, right. Just, okay. Yeah, um, so we both did go to UCD, but uh, it was on the clinic really, I met him. Right. He was the dork in the background. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was the fruit of input. You do play a good dork, don't you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I remember there was a review in, in one of the papers for the clinic. It was the first good review I ever got, accidentally. Where <laughs> they had, like they were given a positive review. It must have been the first few uh, episodes of the show, and they had given a positive review to the show, and they kind of given me one line at the end. And said, and, uh, and Chris O'Dowd uh, tackles the difficult job of playing a bookkeeper with autism with uh, a bit, uh, very gracefully. I'm like, he wasn't. He wasn't autistic. <laughs> Thanks, you know. I've yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant scene in uh, the IT crowd where you're described by one of your new girlfriends as emotionally artistic. You right. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, so, Norma, so, um, and then how did, it was it that you developed a relationship with Chris, sort of professional, and then when yeah, you Yeah, we did for start... a while, and. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see him for a few years. He went and became famous. I kind of hung around Ireland, and was <laughs> like a Zayn Ray celebrity here for a while. And then he was auditioning for Moonboy, he was looking for funny people. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'd, I'd always kind of loved Norma's stuff that we had done on the clinic and I'd always kind of been a big fan and so when the opportunity came up where we could uh, work together again I jumped up. Right. And, and she's, you know, she's the voice of a queen. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what we play in the now when we're on air. Is that Norma Sheehan? She's I do that. <laughs> yeah, I do that with Dawn sometimes. We were doing it today when we were in bed and I was like, that's Norma. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, David and Ian, um, so still another one to come, and you've, you're all grown up now. <laughs> so what age were you when you started doing Moonboy? Um, I was 12. Yeah. And what age are you now? Uh, 14, 15. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, was, there was a comment upstairs, David, about your voice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ian's voice had broken, yeah. and right. uh, we had them, we had to get them into the studio to do, to do like extra lines and the ADR thing, you know. And uh, so, but Ian's voice just didn't match at all to what he filmed, you know. So <laughs> let's go down, let's go down to the car, and then we'll go down to the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, did you have an imaginary friend? Uh, not really. I kind of. I used to pretend that I had imaginary friends, <laughs> uh, like to get like extra chocolate bars. Like I'd be like, oh, can I have one? And then Scooby Doo wants one as well. Right. Uh, uh, but that was kind of it. I yeah. never really actually put the brains for it. What are you doing? No, I'm not that creative. It's just like I can't, I can't see past things that are like not logical to me. And I didn't know what it was. It was just like imaginary friend is like I tried so many times. I'd be outside sitting on the swings and be like. Pushing the strings in the hand. <laughs> 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 Have you read the book? Oh yes, yeah. excellent. Uh, so it's exciting the fact that what happened before 